All right, guys, so the second reading of this week is Psalm 23, which is a pretty familiar passage of Scripture, but again, it is taken out of order. We're now kind of in that section of the Bible where stuff isn't happening at, um, like, in, in a row in, in chronological order. Um, so Psalm 23, it's pretty short. It's only six verses, but, man, they pack a punch. Um, and you can actually tell a lot about the character um, of God through the way that David writes about him. Um, so the Psalms are song lyrics, right? So they're meant to be sung. This is kind of like a worship song like we would sing in chapel, you sing in church. Um, and so this was a way that the uh, the Jewish people would connect with God through worship. Um, and especially with this Psalm, it really does tell a lot about who God is. So the first thing that you can tell is that first of all, um, it says, the Lord is my shepherd. Um, I have everything that I need. So basically what we can tell about God is that he is a provider. Um, he gives us uh, everything that we need. Notice it's need, not want. Um, then it also says that God provides rescue. Um, it says that your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Um, a rod and a staff were meant to guide and to direct the sheep um, that the shepherd was um, looking after. Um, it also says that God provides restoration. Um, he restores my soul, meaning like if something has happened where you feel disconnected from God or you feel disconnected um, from other people, God can bring restoration. And the last one is the most important. It says that God brings righteousness. Righteousness um, is the right standing with God, meaning like that the things that you um, do, God counts them as right. Um, and the only way for that to happen is through his son, Jesus. Um, and this, so this psalm is actually kind of foreshadowing what's going to happen later once Jesus comes. So Psalm 23, it's real short, but it's awesome.